guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ben and Kings of Ancient China. As always, this is Zuljin. So I was taking a look at the map, and I realized, and we, we really only have four countries left to take over. Um, I'm sorry, three countries left to take over. We have 24, 28, and 29. Uh, once we seal up that deal, 23 is going to be totally surrounded, and ours for the taking, as long as we get our people's loyalty up. So I think what I'm going to do here is move a couple of heroes around from 20 to 11 to 19. And we might even stretch some. Uh, I do need to see what 24 looks like, so I'm going to take a turn right quick to do that. After I quickly view my hero's loyalty, I'm concerned that I may have missed something after all that recruiting. And... Uh, handsome rogue seems to be the lowest that's cool we still need to get our training and our arms up again but we can't really move out the country until the snow is gone anyway so that's next year and I do want to do some shuffling around and let the country kind of exist on its own hopefully it won't make any mistakes so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually I should make somebody my brother that's something that you guys haven't yet to see and uh, it'll allow me to get direct control over two countries that'll be really really good to do right now so let's view anyway let's view other and let's take a look at first let's take a look at Harry Priest see how he's doing over here now this is gonna take a turn but it's worth it let's see holy cow look at him do 1200 freaking troops Harry Priest is a monster right now. He's only got 36 arms, but man, who's he got with him? Good lord, I didn't realize he was such a threat. Ivory Bow, Lesser Duke, Tyrant King, Russell of Reeds. Ah, oh, he's got a bunch of punks though. Some of these guys, Ivory Bow, I'm not sure. Tyrant King is pretty strong, but yeah. 68 for strength, Lesser Duke. Yeah, 71. I think that's his two strongest guys. He wouldn't even stand a chance, really. Especially that we have... we have we, Our skill's not as high as his, but we have 50 arms, so we would stand a real good chance. Let's see this guy. Data. 300 troops? Oh, oh, oh man. And 10,000 of each resource? I'm sorry. <laughs> Change your plans. <laughs> I think I'm going to attack him next turn. <laughs> like, straight out. How about these guys? What am I going to have to look at after that? Uh, 700. Okay. So I'll have to have enough to defend myself. I'll still have to take a full load with me. Um, oh, yeah. These guys ain't bad at all. Probably have some good heroes, though. Last thing I need to look at is... Geokui. The man himself, once we surround him, what are we going to look at? Okay, 1,300 troops. This is going to be about 19 strength. But I have a feeling that his heroes aren't going to be as strong as the ones that we just fought. So Stone Throw and Flying God must have fleed over here. Golden Sword. Uh, actually, I think I was just wrong. I'll retract that last statement. He's got some strong heroes. Stone Throw, which we saw last time. 7 is not too bad, but that 94 dex makes up for it in Archery. Flying Goddess is Mage. It's the dude in all black. Yep. 84 with 75. He's a really good hero. Um, Golden Sword. He's strong, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 81 strength. He looks crazy, too. Look at that hat. <laughs> Who wears a green hat like that? Golden... S no, Ill Omen Crow. 53. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe it's not that bad. Red Mustache. Dude, he doesn't even have a mustache. <laughs> 84 strength, okay. He hits pretty hard. Lion's whiskers. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about these guys at all. Not worried at all. So he better get his act together, though, because I am going to come for him really, really soon. Okay. So February, we should probably just attack 24 straight out. They're weakened. Their country is resource rich and full. And there is absolutely nothing that I think that I think that would be a better move. It's just to jump on them right away. 300 troops is almost 
the worst thing that can happen is they can move into 23, which would give Evil Gale Kui himself 1600 troops, which we might have to attack in two waves, but that's still not a problem. We still got countries like 20 and 11 with uh, large amounts of reserve troops with really no threats except for Harry Priest. And even if he kills one of our countries, he still blocks Evil Gale Kui, and that's all we're worried about. So I'm not too concerned with him at all. So let's go ahead and save state just in case. And attack. <laughs> oh man, February still um still under the uh the, the snow. My bad. Um let's uh we only have nineteen fourteen. The rate is really low. Can't move supplies in or out. Do have nine hundred and ninety nine fur though. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and travel. Let's travel. Let's see who's downtown right quick, too. Whether well, we lose him when the sea and chain Riverside King. Yeah, I'll take you anyway. I don't know if I'll be able to have time to give you gold, but I'll definitely take you. And mark it. Sell all this fur. And then sell some food. Let's sell a thousand food. And let's buy some worms while we're here. So, 1165 at three a piece. Well, it's basically 3,000 gold. That is not going to get me high enough. So what I think I'm going to do is just raise it up by a marginal amount, like 700. 69 orms, that's a decent score. 1,442. Let's give one more orms point. Let's see, can I buy 50? What will 50 do? Yeah, there we go. So now my arms score is 70, I have 1,287 gold, still plenty enough to attack next turn, and that'll make us a little stronger. So, I like that idea. Uh, training would have probably yielded less results, and we had enough money to do a few things. 1,186 gold, 3099 gold, golly, what's he using all this money for? Wow. Pay 15 gold? He laughs at the pathetic attempts of Harry Priest. <laughs> yeah, in comparison to me, he's a little underpowered, but yeah, I'm proud of him. Heck, he did pretty good. Okay, so, yeah, I think it's time, guys. It's time. Gotta seize the opportunity. Hopefully he still has the same deal. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of our big guys, just in case we get attacked again. Two Spears, Sick Warrior, Black Whirlwind, K, okay. and let's see, the rest of these guys, I want a Red Horse Rider too, this is going to be like my battalion, this is going to be the big guys, Fierce King can't freaking use archery, so I don't like that about him, Faceless, yeah, and we're going to move on 24. Uh, 1,020, it's not even going to take us that long, but I need it all, really. Yeah, Thousand, let's take 1,020 with us. Oh, we're moving into a rich country, though. Uh, let's take 720. We won't need all of that. Oh, <laughs> we won't need any of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, perfect. So hopefully they moved into 25 or 27 because they didn't move into an empty country. They probably moved into 23 as likely would happen, but still not a concern. Okay, so now I'm going to have to make a brother here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> ah, let's see. I'm tempted. I don't have enough gold to defend. He'll probably come at me full force. I could retaliate right now and say no and have him come in and do quite a bit of damage but that'll that'll weaken him but it'll spread me out I don't want to do that I don't want to take that chance I'm gonna have to say yes wow I hated to do that if if I would have still left some strength in 19 well I don't know what 11 has and they asked 11 that's true okay so let's see here so first things first, we need to, let's see, we have a lot of money right now, we could, 
probably max out our arms quite well. Move hero. Let's see who 30 has that can move into 29. Nobody. Ooh, Jay Banner. Wow. Okay. So, move hero. Okay, that was country 30. Let's see if we move from 20 to 30. We can move who? Oh, yeah, this looks good. This looks really good. Two Head Snake, Short Lived, Swift Avenger, Elder Dang, Second Brother, Demon Mask, Triple Blades, and Flight Demon. Heck, let's move Beautiful Beard. And, f yeah, there we go. Um, we're gonna take 4,000 gold, 6,000 food. Okay, so that gives 30 a big old boost. Now, 30 is either gonna move or is going to. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Expand, baby, expand. Now I need to move at least. Um, yeah, we'll pay you. We'll pay you. Keep on, sucker. Keep on. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. We got one country left before you totally surrounded. We gotta bring our popularity up in this place. I mean, our people's loyalty up in this place to get the popularity boost. So let's go ahead and give citizens 1,000. Okay, we're at 45. We're gonna need to move a hero from 29 into 28, I believe. Did I just move into 18 as well? Was 18 open? Wow, I think I did. And three attack two again. <laughs> God, three's aggressive little monkeys. All right. Wow, we just expanded. Yep, we'll give you gold. His arms are gonna be full by the time we get to him. Wow, yeah, he is just sucking down the money now. <laughs> God. He's trying to bring a brother down. Brother Blueface Beast is not going down. It's not going down. He will have no place to run or hide. Move, hero. From 29 to 28. Wow. You really just did that, huh? Move heroes. From... God, did he... I really need to... Let's see. Who did he bring? Just the Elder Dang. So they're kind of just spreading out all over the place. That's not what I wanted to happen. I need to move from 30 to 29. Did I do that already? Yeah, here's my people. Flight Demon, Beautiful Beard, Triple Blades, Demon Mask, Second Brother, Swift Avenger. We'll leave Short Lived and Two Head Snake. I'm gonna take 2,000 gold, 2,500 food. That's what we'll do. Spreading out this much this fast is not. Ooh, Lone Fire of 3 Attack 2. Dude, Lone Fire is crazy. Oh well, get him, bruh. Get him. Been after it. Take him. <laughs> Man. Oh well. Yes. 29 just moved into 28. Country 23 is totally surrounded. Yes, we'll give you 120 gold. You gotta be serious. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay. Let's view hero. And... Blue face beast. 253, guys. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you get 250 popularity, it's either 250 or 255, which it's it's all the same. We'll have that in no time. Um, 
you get when the the year turns. I believe you have to wait till January. Um, Emperor Huizong gives you the Imperial Edict, which allows you to attack Evil Gao Kui, and that's what we need, y'all. So we got all this. We probably need to move into another country now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and buy Orms while we're here and fill up our ships. There we go. Shipyard. And we're gonna buy two ships. And now we can go to... Yeah, yeah, let's, let's return. So now, basically all we have to do is redeploy ourselves into 19. I think that's where the bulk of the heroes are, so we need some backup. Um, we just have to get a sizable force in order to be able to attack 23. I might move from 19 into 24. No, we still expanding all over the place. Yes, you can have your money. Yes, 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 you can have your money because victory will be ours very, very soon. Basically, what we need to do now is just make sure we have troops behind that we leave behind. When we kill 23, that's game over. But, it's likely that we won't be able to do it in one fail swoop. So, we have to make sure that we leave behind enough troops. Which, the only way we're going to do that is by moving heroes into this country. Let's move from 19 to 24. Let's see who we got here. Yeah, we got enough people to leave behind. Let's see. Leopard General, Riverside King, Fierce King, Most Gracious. Okay, and I'd bring in. Any, ooh, they're low on gold, big time. We actually might want to do that differently. Let's move Hero from 24 to 19. No, I don't want to do that because, wow, this is a hard decision. See, we can't leave ourselves vulnerable on 24 because it's a country that's adjacent to 23. We can't allow 25 or 27 to attack 24 because that'll basically open up the weight. They can still do it to 28, I guess, so that may be being over-paranoid. But, it's what I'm thinking. Um, man. Maybe I fucking move country. Let's see. Who does six have in it? Let's let's start maybe moving some heroes over from the far side. Let's see. Does six have any heroes? Let's move from six to ten. Only two. Okay. Let's check from ten to eleven. Who do we have here? Yeah, we have a few heroes. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna move some of these guys. Not Iron Goose. Let's move Cloud Guardian. I don't remember what he's got, but... Alright, so I'll keep a couple of guys. I'll take Morse King, too. And we'll move with... Four... 3,500 gold. And... 3,000 food. Okay. So that moves them a little bit closer. We got them from 10 to 11 now. Please recruit me. Little Huey Zong, as in the Emperor's son. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. The Prefecture 29. Yeah, we'll accept. Golly, he is taking some gold, man. He is just taxing. Uh oh, who's rioting? Give them something to appease them. Yes, typically we wouldn't want to do this, but at this time we'll give a thousand food. It looks like we're able to come quiet them down. I don't want them to ride. That's not something I have to, want to have to worry about right now. And we have excess food. Won't need all that to take over country 23. All right, let's see what we got now. So, now we can move heroes from, let's see, we moved from 10 to 11, let's move from 20 to 11 now, let's see who we got, uh, no, move hero 
Did we move from 10 to 11? I think we did. Let's move from 10 to 11 again and see who we got. Um, yeah, alright, we already did that. So move hero from 11. They pro three's probably begging for backup so they can finally smack two around, but that's not priority right now. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of heroes to move now. Some big ones, too. Some big daddies. I don't want Heavenly Voice. Demon Lord. Third Tiger. Um, that's uh, Third Brother. Who else we got? We got any strong heroes in the back? Not really. I'll take Raw and Priest just in case. Alright. And we take in... 3,000 gold... 3,500 gold. And... 5,000 food. Alright. And that was from country 11 to 19. So 19's got to move into 24 now. Yes. And then we're going to have to start training, get our arms up again, and move in. That's how it's going to work, you guys. So, move hero from 19 to 24. Small Whirlwind, Elder Tiger, Ten Foot Snake, Dragon Sue, Leopard Head, no, Leopard General, my bad, Riverside King, Sue the Tiger, Demon Lord, Fierce King, that's how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Who else we got? Let's get Raw Iron Priest over here too. And who else? Who else? Who else? Let's get Fifth Tiger. Okay. All of these guys. And let's move 2,500 gold and 1,000 food. Alright. <laughs> So, we are loaded down to the gills with heroes now. Country 19 is a force to be reckoned with. Now we just gotta make it until the next year, guys, and we'll, we'll be able to finally kill Ibugeo Kui. We're gonna bring in the 10 strongest heroes that we have with 100 skill and 100 arms and just lay it down. November, we can probably do some training right now, or travel, yes, 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 you can have money, oh, I don't have the money, 23 attack 20, oh no, oh, that's not good at all, that is not good at all, wow, oh man, we have lost, that isn't good, Okay, so let's see what our popularity is. Probably moved a little bit too many, and now we got some weak countries exposed. This isn't good. Okay, view, home, hero. Let's make sure our popularity didn't go down. Blue face beast, 253, should still be okay. Um, let's see. We should still be able to get... We should still be able to attack 23. No, we can't because he's... Yeah, it'll give us the Imperial Edict. It'll probably run him into 20. What's The, the only thing that can, I can say that's good about this is that we actually split up the force that was Evil Geokui. So he's in two countries now. Chances are when we attack, he'll fight back and 
he'll lose a few hundred troops along the way. We'll capture some heroes, knock down his forces, and move him back into 20. So then we'll be able to catch him from there. But we're still going to have to wait until next year to do that. So let's go ahead and organize. No, we got all the men that we need. We need to get arms now. And we also need to train. So let's go. Let's travel. And go to Smithy. And finish out our arms. There we go. Okay. And we'll go shipyard. And three. And everybody should have ships. No problems there. Okay. One more month. It'll probably be devoted to training. Another blue faced beast. The tiger is terrorizing. I'm actually going to kill these tigers just to make sure I don't need 255 instead of 250 because I can't remember. We haven't killed Beast anyway, so let's go ahead and fight Beasts. <laughs> Seems a little crazy, huh? But if I don't have 255, I don't know if I'll make it, and I'm actually worried about that. Let's take, um, let's do Riverside King. Hunted down the tigers successfully. So, that should have given us three, two or three popularity points, which will give us 255 to make sure. And when the rotation turns, we shall see what happens. Here it is. The Emperor Huizong speaks. I hereby give you the authorizing, the authority to challenge the Emperor, Imperial Minister Evil Gao Kui by force of arms. By the blue-faced beast, we have received the Imperial Edict. That's it, guys. That is it. We have free reign to get rid of this bastard once and for all. When we come back, the battle for all of China <laughs> will commence. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Zul'jin signing off. Have a good one.